Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Todd here. Appreciate you stopping by. So it's that time of year and the wood yard activity is definitely picking up. So I'm gonna bring you guys up to speed on what we've been doing. Uh, we've got a lot of loose ends here to tie up because it's supposed to rain the next two days after this. So we're wanting to get some stuff done. It's an awesome day outside. It's about 43 degrees right now. So perfect day to be working in the wood yard. So let me flip the camera around and uh, show you what we got going on. So real quick update for the new people on the channel. This is my son Evan's firewood stand. This is the only way right now we sell firewood. It's basically self-serve and it has been a very, very popular place and it's getting even worse. So that's a good thing. So that being said, show you what we've been uh, busy with. It has been very windy here in the Midwest. I'm here in Southern Illinois, so we have started a few of the jobs I was talking about in some of my uh, earlier videos, but uh, wasn't very good for audio. And to tell you the truth, it was so windy, it was gonna blow the tripod over. So, you know, you can't capture everything to put it out there for y'all, but we try to do our best to get whatever we can. So let me show you what the wood yard looks like. So in an earlier short, you seen me bring home the red oak in the dump trailer, and this rack here is for that smoker wood customer that wants barkless, unseasoned oak. So uh, we got another load of that split up, and this is ready to go. We decided to move this little rack up here just in case we're not here and he wants to pick it up on his own. He can just pick it up. He knows what is his and he can put the money in the firewood stand. This is all maple that Evan and I have all split up, have split up together. Uh, he has sold all four of these here along the RV and it is restocked and seasoning for next year with the exception of this last part here. And as you can see behind there, he's been very busy making bundles. He's got all of those made up. And over here, he's got uh, his little uh, bundle bin completely full as well. So stocked up on the bundles. Firewood totes have been emptying out. I think he's emptied six to seven now in the last three weeks with sales. And we have started to replenish them. Matter of fact, the three, the two on the end and the one up top, the on the left side there have all been restocked. The rest of it is completely seasoned and ready to go. And he's also been selling off of the original rack back there. That's all ready to go and He's put a pretty big dent in that. All right, everybody, so here on the dump trailer is the second load of maple from that uh, farmer's house. Uh, we picked this up yesterday afternoon. It's all the big part of the tree. We went over and cut it up and the farmer was able to uh, lift it up with the forks on his tractor and load it up for me. So I appreciate that because those are some big rounds. Uh, I wasn't able to cut that tree down it was very very windy for three days in a row like i said before and uh he had a tree service guy come out and just drop it for him and we came over and cut the rest up so that's the first load there and then the, or the second load i'm sorry and this was the first load we brought home so pretty nice amount of maple there within a mile of the house so we got that to start on today start processing we got the remainder of the red oak here uh, that we need to process up. And uh, here's some of the same red oak on the trailer still that uh, needs to be put in a tote over there. All right, enough talking, it's time to get something done. So in this video, you might see some splitting, you might see some stacking. I don't know what you're gonna see, but you're gonna see something. So thanks for sticking with us, let's get to it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? We're supposed to be working and you're over here with a fire going. It's cold outside. It 
does feel good. We got work to do. So, all right, a little break in the splitting action here. We're gonna get back to it shortly. So I'm gonna show you a little method to my madness there. If you all see me throwing it in two separate trailers, Evan is uh, liking the idea of separating it as we split it. So we try to put two separate trailers. We sell it in loose. So I throw that in this trailer, kind of the gnarlier looking stuff, not quite so straight and anything bundle grade we try to throw in the little four-wheeler trailer. That way he puts that in a certain toad or on a certain stack. So when he goes to make bundles out of seasoned firewood, he can make it all out of the same stack and not have to kind of separate it out. So that's why you see me throwing it in two separate trailers. And then of course the red oak here on the back is for our smokehouse customer, Barkless Red Oak. So Evan ran to the farm in his truck here real quick and grab some pallets. We are running out of room in the wood yard, so we're gonna start running a few rows here along the creek, keep them wide enough to get the foiler trailer back down in between. And although they're not fine-tuned, we still need to level them up, screw them together. That's kind of what we're doing now, expanding over somewhat. All right, we got that wrapped up in our head on what we're gonna do, so we're gonna get back to splitting. A lot of this maple will probably wind up on one of these pallets here.
So, all right, everyone, we had a couple interruptions there. Uh, Evan just sold a whole truckload of firewood. The guy backed in. Returning customer from last year contacted me and just showed up. So, we stopped to do that. So, more money in Evan's pocket. But uh, I'm probably going to wrap this video up here. It's just kind of been all over the place, and it's hard to tell when you're doing these things how much footage you actually have and if you're going to bore people to death with a 25-minute long video. So, I'm going to wrap this one up. I will show you here on the trailer we got all the oak split so we got some oak to stack there and then we got the four-wheeler trailer right over here full of uh barkless oak for uh the smoker customer and we're gonna put it right over there as a backup his next order is right up there in that last uh, uh firewood rack and then we're gonna have backup ready to go so we're going to get some wood stacked, eat some lunch. So, man, I appreciate it if you all stuck around to the end and bared with me with this all over the place video. But, hey, that's uh, nothing staged here. We just uh, tape it as it goes. So, appreciate you sticking around. Appreciate all the new subscribers. And, uh, man, it's just, been, it's just been a lot of fun doing this. So, until next time, like I always like to say, get outside. We'll see you.